finally, Oti Shele, Kanaga Junior and Tati decided to give us some spice in their bedroom shenanigans. Hey, sh finally, oh, it's about to go down. Finally, oh, it's about to go down. What am I even singing? Finally, it has gone down. Guys, you know the thing, eh? There are different speculations online. And I don't even know which one to believe. Because me, myself, I did not know what I was seeing. But from the voice, from the morning, mm -hmm, it sounded like something went down. Now, here are the different speculations. People are saying it was a hand job. It was a blow job. And others are going as far as saying they had sex. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm hearing. That's what I'm hearing. Hey, the way Kananga Junior just switched from morning to humming a song. I say, brother, Kananga Junior, calm down. We know you are feeling the tea, so don't try to disguise. We can see through it. Don't do that. Guys, we also have the Cobank crew that consists of um, Kosi and Taba giving us, you know, Subtle, lovey dovey, lovey dovey uh, moment and all of that. And then last night, they actually gave each other a good night kiss. And guys, it was at the staircase. Oh my god. Hey, it was, mm, you know, they had their mics on. And the, the sound, you know, that sound of um, Blue Ava and Black Boy make when they kiss, that kind of sound. That's the sound, but in a subtle way. I was like, Jesus Christ, what's this? Even we should share a bed. Just, it's just don't waste our time. Share a bed. Spend the night together on one bed. Why are you bidding each other goodbye? You're saying, oh, let me go to my room. Why are you doing that? No, 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 no. Share a bed. Kuku, finish what you started. Hey, guys, it's your girl Zinia, and I'm back again like I never left. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. And if you're joining me for the very first time, you're highly welcome. Please smash the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Without further ado, guys, let's go straight into the gist of the day. Now, which gist should we start from? Let me start with the Kobang ship, right? Now, Kosi and Tabang have steadily been pressing next on social media. Guys, Guys, they said no i'm gonna keep pressing you with ease oh with ease they do all of this with ease they get people so agitated with so much ease guys they had so many lovey dovey moments throughout last night okay there was a time they were preparing for their wager tax presentation and you know the way kosi just hugged tabang and tabang reciprocated the energy by hugging her as well it was so cute it was a sight to behold mm -hmm. she even removed something from his nose i'm like okay okay and then the next thing when they you know let go of each other she told him that oh nobody saw that and guess what tabang said i don't care that's what we're doing now i don't care uh-huh that's what we're doing and that's the energy honey i don't care if they see if they don't honey what did i say i don't care at all if they like they see if they like let them be doing i can't see i'm blind i ah, ah. if they like them do that one i don't really care honey i don't care i'm gonna do what i want to do irrespective of whatever anyone thinks that's the energy he was giving her there was also a time he was rubbing her leg you know this romance i'm like guys guys a lot of people are saying oh tabank is also playing the game this and that i have seen him from his you know um utterances from the conversations they have guys that guy is not playing anybody Irrespective of the fact that he probably has someone on the outside. I think the person he wished a happy birthday on the 1st of March. Yeah. But as long as they are inside our house, Tabang has fallen head over heels in love with Kosi. Like, what did that girl add in our stew? What did she add in our stew? Because I don't understand. This guy has fallen for Kosi. If you see the way he was just, ah, he's all over Kosi. He's now Kosi's bodyguard. Yeah, me safe. Did not even do what half of what Tabang is doing right now. There was a time uh, uh, Black Boy was sitting close to Kosi one time. I think last week, Black Boy stood up, you know, to get something. Of course, to return back to his seat because he still wanted to talk to Kosi. It's the speed at which Tabang just sat down immediately close to Kosi. It's the following up and down for me, guys. Tabang truly likes that girl. He's into that girl. Trust me, for the conversations they have, like he really wants to have something with her outside the house. Hence the reason he's always asking her, okay, what are you going to do outside the house? Will you be a changed person? I feel like it's a side of you that I have no experience and I would like to, you know, experience on a fresh, um, clean slate. You know, that kind of thing. He's been having such conversations with her. I can see through all of that. That guy is seriously into her. Taban knows they play any game. That guy is not playing a game at all. If it's Kosi, I can say, okay, Kosi is playing a game, but Tabang, ah, 
My guy don't fall yakata. He don't fall brekete. He is so much in love with that girl. Now, like I said earlier on, we also have the Kantati ship that consists of Kanaga Junior and Tati. They made sure they utilize the HOH lounge. Yes, guys, there was lots and lots of movements there. Guys, let me tell you something. I can't really say for sure if they had sex, but yo, the aggressive cuddly or oh, movement was on another level entirely. Another level, another sphere altogether. Like, what the hell? Now, let me tell you from my own perspective, right? This is my perspective, guys. You can stay serious in the comment section, okay? Let's be guided. But yo, I actually think Tati gave Kanaga Juno a BJ. Mm -hmm. A BJ or a hand job and then plus um aggressive calling. I don't really think they went extreme, but yeah. BJ or hand job plus aggressive calling because age hey, the way Kanaga Jr. was money was like ah guys I've been waiting for this moment because they've been giving us kisses here and there and all of that you know and praying together having nice conversations together I'm like okay that one saved it but when are you people going to do some things do some things some things guys they did not disappoint me last night though mm -hmm. and this went on and on for a while trust me when i say that uh-huh i was like ah kanaga junior miracle no the tire jesus what are you doing ah, ah, taxi our innocent taxi hey, hey, hey. that was giving us tiwa savage vibe during the uh, pepsi challenge sorry i'm not sorry hey, hey. You said they do the do. <laughs> Guys, I'm not trying to judge them or anything, but trust me. It was fun to watch them, you know, spice up their bedroom shenanigans. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, they're adults, full-fledged adults for that matter. So, we see up why they no go do some things. Who they, who they, who they check on? Who they check on? Let it be known to y'all that Juicy J is in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Our Juju, our, okay. Justin is Juju, baby. But Juicy J is Juju, yeah. Our Juju is in Nigeria. And I was thinking he was actually going to wait for Yvonne. You know, the show is about to end. I was thinking he wait for Yvonne and the both of them will come to Nigeria together. But my guy said, nah, probably we could do that some other time. But I got to come to Nigeria now. And I saw a video he did with, um, um, Yemi. They already linked up. And I'm like, oh, this is some bromance right here. You know, Juicy J was Yemi's G in the house. He really had Yemi's back. Oh my God, the times Miyako was always coming for him back to back. Juicy J was there, he stood giddy back. He was even the one making so much efforts for Miracle and Yemi to, you know, reconcile and all of that. But egoistic fellows, Miracle and Yemi refused. But guys, Juicy J is in Nigeria. I cannot wait for his media rounds in Nigeria. Like, I can't wait for, you know, the, some of the teas is gonna spill. I mean, Juicy J, we cannot, you know, dispute the fact that Juicy J really gave us entertainment in that house. He was really a sight to behold. He was really entertaining to watch, you know, his conversations, his hilarious um, performances during the wager tax presentations. You know, everything about him, his personality. He has a very huge sense of humor. Oh my God, Juicy J is one package. Trust me. Trust me, I just hope the fact that they are both in um, different countries, that's Juicy J and Yvonne, does not really, you know, inhibit their relationship from, you know, blows on me or whatever. Now, let's talk about Ebubu. Ebubu and Yvonne were having a conversation while Yvonne was cooking yesterday. And Ebubu actually revealed that he's a tough guy. Mm -hmm. That if anyone had told him that he was going to fall for anybody in that house, he would call that person a pathological liar. Yes, and guys, we all know who Abubu fell for in the house at some point, and that is JP. And I'm like, Abubu, you said they, they form hard guy. Like, like Abubu. I see Abubu as a very soft person. Like, he's just cool, calm and collected. I never saw him as a tough guy, but here he was telling us that ah, he's a tough guy. Oh. He has always been, he was a tough guy. He is a tough guy. He'll always be a tough guy. But if anyone had told him was going to fall for anybody in the house, ah, he wouldn't have believed it. And I'm like, eh, hey, eh, hey, boo boo, eh, hey, boo boo. It's okay. It's all right. Let's see. Let's see the paro outside the house. Maybe you and JP people will link up and be doing things. You understand? So let's talk about Shan, your eye winner. And that is no other person than White Money. White Money decided to shoot him himself on the foot yes i think that was two days ago yesterday my guy carried his phone and he said no i'm going to i'm going to scatter table today now he said eh that um guys just have money and all of that and every girl or any girl at all will be yours and all that age hey, it was as if he just pressed a button leading to danger now so doing and one other actress sonia ojiri or giri 
came out to you know it's even doing i want to you know face because doing was um countering what he was saying that oh that it's not that there are some women who are not in for the money and some women who would not accept you despite you know having so much money in the world and i'm like don't you sit this one out just just go to your inner chambers lock yourself your abode your place of abode just go there and lock yourself and not be doing anything you want because this is the same doing that went on nadu's podcast and was you know um cheering him up for saying ex big brother ninja um ladies are into coded runs and she was like eh will you not accept yes who which lady will not accept millions just for a night eh so why are you here telling white money or telling us that oh not every girl or not every lady will accept your money even if you have so much money if she doesn't like you she may not still accept you and see you are contradicting yourself right now stay one place stay if you want to be um Activist for women, no problem. I be feminist, no problem. If you want to support coded rules, I be prostitution, no problem. Don't be doing selective activism, yeah. Choose one side. Where are you? You they follow a lot show, they do, they support them. I be you are against it. Choose, choose a hustle, honey. Pick one. Then Sonia Ojiri, according to Insta blog, she's an actress. You know, we have so many actresses in Nigeria. I don't know this one, Sha. She took her phone and decided to bombard white money oh my god guys the comments i mean the post was something else what actually cracked me up was the kitchen big brother of yesterday hey white money white money she now you did they call kitchen big brother of yesterday like yo yo what the hell is kitchen big brother of yesterday guy guy she's like no not all ladies oh uh, you know are up for your money not all ladies this and i'm like madam it's not that deep it is not that deep, honey, because there are ladies who genuinely will not want you if, you if you're not rich, you're not wealthy, you're not financially stable. And that's the truth. Like, guys, I understand the fact that not all ladies will, you know, um, be with you if, although you have money, if you're not that spec, you know. I know there are ladies that actually have standard, but let's not dispute the fact that most ladies will not be with you, even if you're their spec. When you don't have money let's just accept it because it's a fact that that's us being factual right there let's be realistic thank you so much for watching my video please subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up and turn on your post notification to be notified when i post a new video you know the vibes you know the vibes see you in my next video once again bye